All right, so I haven't done one of these like fake card videos in like a really, really long time, and a lot of people seem to really enjoy those. They actually are some of the more popular videos I have on my channel, just like showing cool fake cards. Uh, so I figured this would be a really cool opening video, and just I guess kind of a mail day since I haven't really done like a mail day video in like ever. And this is like the really big one right now, I guess, because uh, here in Texas the mail is kind of like I just guess built up over time because of the uh, recent flooding, so the roads are kind of closed up, and you can't exactly get your mail that way. So. I uh, got this all at once and figured this would be something really, really cool to open for you guys. I uh, have four top loaders all like stuffed to the brim with fake cards. Uh, I actually purchased these through somebody in a uh, white collar Yu Gi Oh! big Yu Gi Oh! buying, selling, and trading group on Facebook. I had a guy pick these up in the Philippines, uh, which is really, really cool of him. I got these for a pretty good deal. I haven't really looked at any of these in person yet, but I kind of have an idea of what it is, so. This will be new to you guys for the ones that I uh, haven't seen yet. So we got some scissors. Uh, not too worried about damaging the cards because you know they're fakes, but they're still really, really cool. Uh, so in our first little, I guess, oh, they're all individually sleeved. That's cool. Uh, so for our first one, we have a Slife for the Sky Dragon. It looks really, really cool. Uh, it's got some kind of like, I guess, artwork from the anime on there. Real, I've always seen like pictures of these, like whenever I first got back in Yuga, Googled like a bunch of pictures of fake cards just to see what would pop up and I remember seeing a bunch of uh, cool god cards like this. So we have another one. We have another really cool looking slifer. Uh, really interesting artwork. It makes you wonder where they get these from. So we have two of those. And then we have, I guess, your typical Slifer the Sky Dragon. I think this is like the artwork from like the manga, like the actual card in the manga. Then we have an Obelisk the Tormentor, I guess, kind of in the same theme. Then we have a really cool looking Obelisk the Tormentor. We actually have two of those, uh, where the artwork is kind of, I guess, extended out of the card with the border slurge, which is kind of weird. I actually have an Exodia like this, and I'll show you guys. Uh, an Exodia, the Dark Master. You can see like the arms are popping out of the. Uh, and like, I guess the horns on his head are popping out too, and his foot kind of extends behind the uh, effect, which is pretty cool. So, we got some fake god cards with really, really cool artwork. Uh, now for our next one, we have here. Let's see, we have... Uh, more almost the Tormentor, just kind of guess the same thing. Are these backs colored? No, this one's a standard back. I forgot to check and see if these had colored backs, but... I don't think they do, no. Yeah, nothing really special about the backs either, because I know sometimes they spell, like, Konami wrong. And they do all kinds of things. Uh, so we have another Obelisk the Tormentor. So we have a Winged Dragon of Raw, kind of, I guess, in this cool artwork. We have another one really interesting artwork. It makes you, like... Okay, so this is apparently a gold attribute. I don't know if you guys can see that. Zoom in really quick. So it's a gold attribute instead of a divine attribute, which is kind of interesting. But the artwork on this thing looks, like, really, really cool. These will make some really cool, I guess, tokens. So you have another Winged Dragon of Raw. It's also a gold attribute. Ooh, this one's foil. Uh, this one's foil, but it's, I guess, taped up. But it's a fake card, so it doesn't really matter that much. And it has the, I guess, new foil that uh, Konami just came out with in the TCG, where the attribute and the stars are foil. So I guess fake card companies... Uh, did this first before uh, Konami the TCG actually did, which is kind of funny. The actual border itself is foiled, but eh, what can you be? Or what can you do? It's a uh, apparently a dragon beast type instead of like a divine beast. Uh, let's see, we also have another one that's like literally just taken out of the TV show. I remember getting like a bunch of like Yu-Gi-Oh books at the book fair as a kid that had this uh, specific artwork of Raw. It's like the more generic one, I guess they went with. See in this one. Oh, the tape just ripped on this one. See, I just saw the front card. It looks like an Exodia, so let's see. This one's kind of snug. Don't want to mess it up too bad. So we have a Darkly Big Rabbi. Uh, it's a Warrior Race effect, and it says when the Beelzebub, comma, S seal was been untied, any enemy it will been destroying at minute. So we got the old meme, Darkly Big Rabbi. See, so we have one of these uh, fake Exodias where it's like popping out of the artwork, but it's not foil. Which they both look really awesome, in my opinion. So we have another Exodia of the Dark Master. Another Exodia of the Dark Master, so we got a playset. We have a Harakti. I remember like seeing one of these as a kid whenever Harakti was like first announced in the TCG before this was like an actual... Uh, 
like an actual card, so they just like made it as a fusion light creator. It's a gold attribute. Uh, it has infinite infinity attack and infinity defense. It's a divine beast it's from it's apparently it's from the GBI set. Uh, in the name of Celestial Integrate Trio Deities becomes Light Creator Helia Kelly. It disperses darkness forever. And we got a Dragon Sky, so more fake Life of the Sky Dragons and more of these cool looking ones. So we got a fake Harakti. It's a fusion, so that's kind of neat. I guess they made those before like the actual Harakti was like ever printed the uh, Japanese promo. That's like only a hundred thousand copies exist or something like that. Or maybe like only a thousand copies, I'm not sure the exact number. But it's not a whole lot. Uh, we have Slate of the Light Creator. It's a character's bios card, that's weird. Uh, let's see, character's bios card, a mystery attack and mystery defense, light attribute. As long as this card appears in field, it can summon the Trio Divinity card. Select for Sky Dragon, almost the Tormentor, the Winged Dragon of Ra, from either Graveguard or Hand Set, and obtain infinite power from Light Creator. Effect Gunnet would destroy Slate of Dark Evil. So this negates your opponent's Slate of Dark Evil. And whenever it appears in the field, it can summon all three God cards at once, which is pretty cool, but uh, it kind of sucks it has such high... Uh, a high level, so you have to like play some weird cards. I guess you could like pitch this and bring it back, like I guess call the haunted or back to the front. I guess now, uh, so that's really neat. We got some of these uh, character cards. We have a Maximilian Pegasus, a foil Maximilian Pegasus. They're like stuck together. So we have a few of these. Uh, we got a foil Joey Wheeler. I don't think I have one of these character cards yet. And we have a really really cool looking Dark Magician. No, I didn't really get these artworks from, but they look amazing. Then we have a cool Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Then we have a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, where part of the name's faded. This one's kind of bent, but I already have one of these, which is not that bad, but... Still, we got some really, really cool-looking fake cards uh, out of this lot. Uh, I got this for, like, dirt cheap, and these are some really, really cool-looking fake cards that uh, are going to look really, really nice with the uh, fake collection. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, I'll probably do more of these, uh, mail day opening videos, uh, pretty soon, because I do have some more stuff coming in the mail, but, yeah, that's it for the video, hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys later.